All right, ladies and gentlemen, am I coming in clear? Is this close enough for you? Are we here? Are you there? Are you there? Can you see me? Can you see? Of course you can. All right. Let's put you back in the right place. All right. So now that you guys have noticed how stir crazy I'm going, not having anybody inside of my facility for the last few weeks, here's what you guys got going on today. I am the hostess with the mostest. That's right. I call myself a girl. It's cool. No big deal. So what you guys have going on today inside of your workout protocol for this Wednesday, what you guys have is you guys have seven exercises. It's four rounds worth of work. All of your reps are total. The first round of everything is going to be 20. The second round of everything is going to be 15. The third round of everything is going to be bang, bang, 10. And the last round of everything is going to be <laughs> pow, five. That's right, guys. The last round of everything is five. So first is 20, second is 15, third is 10, and the last is five. The idea is you cannot throw all these reps together. You know who I'm talking to. Your mission, purpose, focus, and drive is to do each round separately. That's how the system works. Please try to do it that way. I know it's tempting because I'm not around to call you out on it, but that's all right. I know who you are. <laughs> anyway, here's what you guys got going on today. Like I said, seven exercises, all that fun stuff. When you guys get done with that, the last thing you have is something that I haven't done in a while. It's called um, 21. You're going to do two sets of these, and I'm going to show you exactly how they work at the end of the video. So, seven exercises, yep. Four rounds worth of work. Once you get done with all that stuff, you come down here to the bicep, tricep, finisher 21s. And then, when you're all done with that, Yay! We can move on with the rest of our day. Thank you guys for participating in all the fun. Let's get on with the show. All right, hold on to your hats, guys. I promise I haven't changed anything inside of the studio. I know it looks a little weird, but because of the camera angle and it's a selfie mode image thing, everything's all mishmashed and flopped and floopity and flippity floppity. It's not a big deal. Just you know, focus here. Focus here. Focus, focus right here. Focus right here. Pay attention to this right here because this is what's important right now. That's right, me. <laughs> Anyway, so what you guys have, like I said, the first of the exercises is the burpee. Please don't mind me while I rudely adjust my shorts and my shirt in order to be a little bit more appropriate. So, like I said, the first thing you guys have is the burpee. You have several different versions. I'm going to show you a couple of them. Here we go. So, first thing, squat down, hands on the ground, feet back. All the way down where your chest touches the ground, push yourself back up, hop forward, stand up, and jump. That's version number one. Version number two, down, hop back, hop forward, stand up, jump. That's version number two. Version number three, I'm not going to show you, but it's basically just walking it out. So you're going to squat down, walk one foot back at a time, then one foot forward at a time, and then you're going to stand up without the jump. And the fourth version is putting your hands on the bench and then hopping it out from there or walking it out from there. The next thing that you have on the list is the runner sit up. So runner sit up, we're laying on the ground. So you're here, starting off, whoo, turn side to side. And remember, these are total reps. Okay, so with the runner sit up, if you can't keep your legs up the whole time, that's cool. Don't worry about it. Just, oh, sorry, this should be knee to elbow. I apologize. I showed you the wrong one. Knee to elbow while keeping one foot on the ground at a time. If that's too much to circulate back and forth, that's okay. You can always just one side, other side. Just reach for one ankle at a time while crunching your abdomen. If you can't get on the ground, that's okay. Whew. Doing a windmill, pang, 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 and then doing however many on each side, that's good too. Now that you guys are done with that exercise, let's talk about exercise number three. Number three, the hand plank with the weight slide. Yeah. So, what you're doing is you're going to get yourself down, hand plank position. I'm going to show you without the weight, and then what you're going to do. So, the weight starts in the opposite side, you're going to pull right to the right. Using your left, pull to the left, right to right, 
left to left for your total number of reps. The next thing you guys have after that is alternating kettlebell kind of swings. That's right, I have a need to sing it because I'm a silly goose. So, with your alternating kettlebell swings, the idea is you start with one in the bottom up, always switching at the top end of the motion, and then back down. So it's up, switch, up, switch, for however what your count is. If that's too much to do, that's okay. You can do the suitcase deadlift version of that. So what you'll do is you'll start with the weight at your side, you grab it, stand up, switch hands, and then down on the other side. So it's just like you're switching which side the weight is on, racing your abs the whole time. Now that you're done with that, let's go on to the next one, which is the reverse fly. So the idea is to work your upper back for this one. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start off, you'll be bent over, thumbs facing forward, and then as you pull, keeping your arms straight, hands off to the sides, like I said, you try to use some light weights, light weights for this one. So it's thumbs forward, thumbs up, thumbs forward, thumbs up from the side, thumbs forward, thumbs up, thumbs forward, thumbs up. And you're gonna do your total number of reps for your four rounds for that. And the next thing you have is a push up with a shoulder touch. Man, this seems like an awful lot of upper body today, but that's okay, sometimes that's what we need. So. Here's what you're doing next. Push up, shoulder touch. So, getting on the ground. Push up, touch one shoulder, push up, touch one shoulder, back and forth. The idea is, the idea for that one is to count how many push-ups you do, not how many times you touch your shoulder, okay? And then also, if you can't do it from your toes, do it from your knees, like drop to your knees, down, touch your shoulder, down, touch your shoulder. Can't do it from there, that's okay. Hands on a bench, hands on the wall, same thing. Down and touch your shoulder. That's right, just, just give yourself a pat on the shoulder. Like you, I don't, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> what you're gonna do at the last thing you have is you have goblet squats. So, goblet squats, holding a kettlebell. Here, at the chest, tuck your elbows in. Holding the kettlebell, dumbbell, bag of sand, Man of sand, sandman, whatever you want to hold at your chest level. Feet between hip, shoulder width apart, squatting down as far as you can comfortably, and then coming back up. If this is too much and this starts to hurt, that's okay. Drop the weight and just do body weight. Body weight's cool too, man. So it's just down and back up, doing those reps and sets. If you can't do it with or without the weight and you need a chair, that's okay. Like I said, grab a chair, pull it out, Sit on the chair and then stand up from the chair, bracing your abs, keeping your chest up. Those are the two big important things. If I haven't mentioned that before, you know, chest up, shoulder, I mean, try to keep this tight. Those are your seven exercises. Once you've fulfilled your obligation of the four rounds, 20, 15, 10, and then five, please feel free to go to the next section. Are you ready? Here we go! Next section coming up. And now it's time. Yeah, it's time for the finish. It's time to end this madness with some bicep curl 21s and some tricep curl skull crushing 21s as well. So let's go real quick. I'll get you some weights out for this one. So what we're doing, or at least what your goal is. So we're gonna walk back into frame with some weights. Walk into frame with some weights and then walk right back out of the frame because I thought it was funny. All right, we're gonna walk back into frame and then we're gonna stand right here. Okay, so what you're doing for 21s, the idea is you're breaking up the bicep curl into three different parts, doing seven reps for each part. So here's what you're doing. So I'm gonna show you from the side because it's just easier from the side. So you're gonna come in. So um, from the front, it's gonna be thumbs out, palms up. And then what you're going to do from here is you're going to go halfway for seven. So it's halfway and down, halfway and down, halfway and down. You do that seven times. Then you're going to stop at the top of the seventh rep. So it's five, six, top of seven. And then from here, you're going to do seven more from the top half. Two, three, four, five, six. 
Once you hit the top of the seventh rep here, drop it all the way down and then all the way up. Yeah, just like that. And then you're gonna do seven full. So it's so it's seven at half at the top of the half of this. Or, so at the top of that seventh one, you're gonna do seven more all the way up. And then you're gonna do seven full, just like that. And you're gonna do that for one round. And then you're gonna do the next one, which is the skull crusher, which you're gonna take two dumbbells or two kettlebells or two whatevers. This way you can keep it separate. And you're doing almost exactly like, uh, like the other thing, like the bicep curl. So what you're doing is just like this. What you're doing is just like this, just like this. Squeeze your belly, just like this. So, starting here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna start all the way in the bottom position. So, let's move over so you guys can kind of sort of see what I'm doing. So what you're doing is with your elbows up and the dumbbells at your ears, because you have two of them at the same time this time. So with them at your ears, you're gonna go halfway up seven times at the top of the seventh rep. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna go seven times from halfway to full and then you're going to go all the way down and all the way back up seven full reps cool cool once you're done with that then you're going to go back to the bicep curl and then do the bicep curl the same way again seven at the top of the seventh rep seven up here so it's seven half and then seven more half, or yes, seven bottom half, seven top half, seven full. And then it's gonna be the same thing with the tricep, uh, with the skull crusher, it's seven half, seven top half, seven full. That's me being ridiculous, and that's the end of your video for today. That is your bicep tricep finisher for this week. Thank you guys for watching all the videos up to this point in time. Um, I appreciate you guys continuing to watch, continue to exercise, and continue bringing me all of your messages of having not so much fun, sweating to death, doing things in uncomfortable circumstances, and so on down the road. I do genuinely appreciate it. It makes it just it's just nice to hear you guys are still working out and still trying to move and still trying to get things done. Um, I do appreciate those of you guys that have also reached out and needed alternatives to your exercise. Please, um, you have, like I said, you have my number, you have every way to reach me, call me. I will do everything I can to get you an alternate, set up, set up a meeting with you so we can figure out an alternate or if there's something better that we can do inside of your exercise protocols. So, as always, I need you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and share with your friends all the videos and all the things that we're doing so they can see just as much as I can see all the success that you are starting to see with you still continuing to push forward. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for today, guys. You're doing a great job. Thank you so much. Keep commenting, keep subscribing, keep talking to each other. I'm going to keep talking to you and keep trying to help you guys push forward. And, um, and, and as all these things progress and all of us go into the future together. All right. Much love, enjoy your workout, and thanks for everything, guys. I mean, share with your friends and stuff.